This week, the Environment Programme will be leaving for Italy and discovering how in high altitude researchers had a strange idea to protect the glaciers from the rising temperatures with a cover. Then we'll be seeing that the Vatican is also going green. The Pope has just inaugurated a huge field of solar panels on its roof. And finally, we'll be flying to a French ski resort in the forefront of protection of the environment, Val Torrens in the Alps, a resort full of original initiatives. In the fight against the melting of the ice caps, here's a simple and ingenious idea, a cover. After several months of action, a team of researchers from Milan University have just shown that we can preserve the ice by spreading a cover over the top of it. Here's a demonstration in Dosde at 2,700 meters altitude. As a test, a 150 square meter cover was placed on part of the glacier at the beginning of last summer. And the results are final. This white light cover has meant saving 115 meters cubed of water. It's a godsend when we know that every year over the last four years, the level of melting of the glaciers has more than doubled. In this way, the most threatened glaciers can be protected. It's a big first, and the Pope was there in person to inaugurate it last month. The Vatican State has just put into service its first installation of solar panels. No less than 5,000 square meters of photovoltaic panels have been installed. They now cover the Paul VI auditorium roof. As for the energy produced, 300 megawatts, it should mean a saving equivalent of 80 tons of petrol per year. That's certainly faith in clean energy. Snow, snow tow, raclette. These are the ingredients for a successful snow season. But these last few years, the season has been shorter, there hasn't been enough snow, and there's been pollution. Many resorts have jumped on the sustainable development bandwagon, like here at Val Torrens. Regulating the winter crowds while preserving the environment is this resort's challenge every year. For the skier, it all begins even before arriving on the slopes. La route d'accès est à quelques dizaines de mètres de nous. The entrance by road is a few tens of meters from us, and in this cable car that was built last year, we have set up a reception desk, a ticket machine, a lounge for the public transport drivers when groups arrive, a whole lot of services, and public toilets. It's our new reception area for daytime skiing. The station is a little higher, which means it's vehicle-free. We prefer to have daytime skiing a little higher so as to limit the damage. For the skier, once on the slopes, it's an escape. Descending these snow-filled slopes and feeling the cool, fresh air is the joy of the enthusiasts. But for this, you need ski lifts, cable cars, snow cannons, energy, basically. 20 or so years ago, the Val Torrens Resort had about a dozen more ski lifts than we have now. We have less transport, in other words. Our vocation was very quickly turned towards the reduction in the number of machines in order to have less presence in the natural environment so we could keep a watch on the emissions that we make. Less but more efficient machines. The skier can make the most of the resort in a sustainable way. The commune of Saint-Martin de Belleville has made a commitment. The image of the resort is at stake. The commune signed a charter of sustainable development for the mountain resorts. Together, we're defining a plan of action for the three and ten years to come. We've already begun taking some action. For example, a carbon assessment that will be finished soon, which will enable us to know where we stand with regards to stations. We're going to organize an energy audit on the local buildings. Energy expenditure is indeed one of the main points for improvement. A few electric panels are appearing, not on the rooftops, but on the sides of the buildings. The other important issue is waste management. From one day to the next, tons of waste are produced by the skiers. We're making a two-fold program in Val Torrens so as to install semi-buried containers, which will make the resort more pleasant and it easier for us to select waste. For several years now, the commune has promised to facilitate the selective sorting of waste in ski resorts. These containers have just been installed. A single one has the capacity of eight skips, then they have to be emptied. It requires a lot of skill, but with practice, only one minute is needed per container. 130 have already been installed. By next year, there will be 200. Six out of 12 months, these containers are going to fill up and be emptied to the rhythm of the skiers and their families. And the other six months, what happens? For when the snow melts, the damages of a busy season begin to appear. Replanting the area is necessary, but not any old how. 
Funnily enough, we use a lot of wheat, which isn't a very common thing to do. The advantage with wheat is that it grows from seed. It fixes the land and means that when the spring rain comes, there's no leaching. We keep the food and the microorganisms, which allows the sedentary vegetation to develop. And in two or three years, we manage to have a slope which will be rapidly green and witness the arrival of many natural species. And the skiers can come back the following year. The mass arrival of holidaymakers is traumatic for the mountains. So summer and winter, a resort like Val Torrens is multiplying its initiatives in order to use less energy, improve waste storage and especially make the visits over the holiday season the least detrimental as possible.